Alright, welcome to my YouTube tutorial series. This is going to be the first video I'm making and it's going to be about controls. So it's going to go over super basic stuff. Um, so first of all we're going to talk about our settings. So the, this should be the default settings you see when you go in sorry, when you go into your menu options gameplay. This is your default settings. You're going to want to change this to always and we want to remove this terrible setting so now your game should look like mine um, alternatively if you don't like the way this looks you can also use alt to show unit health uh, life bars or you can use alt like when you have the setting that I do to hold alt and it hides the health bars um, you want to keep these on though in general because uh, it helps with turn 1 micro and it helps with SS micro in particular so we'll, see, we'll go over that later so the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, A clicking. So that basically means pressing A on your keyboard, then left clicking somewhere. You're going to want to do this because let's say I just right click over here. You can see that my guy's wa literally walking all the way over here before he even decides to shoot this guy. And that's pretty terrible. You can also left click over here and then A click over here. The A click. But that's also terrible. You want to use your keyboard as much as you can. So you're going to press A on your keyboard. And then left click over here. And your rifle is going to shoot everything on the way. Um, so this is still kind of terrible and awkward. Because you notice I'm getting hit by the city. So we're going to go over our next hockey. Which is H. Which stands for hold position. It basically means my rifle is going to stand still. And he's going to shoot everything in range of it. So I'm going to right click over here, then press H, and now I'm side of city range, and I'm only trading shots with this defender, which is great. Um, before I go any further, actually, I should mention, um, if you notice, I'm, I'm not left clicking my unit cards, I'm pressing Q on my keyboard, and then you can press W, and then E to spawn these three important units. Honestly, if, you're, if the only hotkeys you use are Q, W, E, and A, that's honestly good enough, but obviously we're going to want to use everything we could to just to make the game easier. So you're going to press Q on your keyboard to spawn this rifleman and then you can put him over here. Press H you can take this country which is awesome. Um, another example oh sorry the next hockey we're going to talk about is going to be V. So when I click select this city and then press V on my keyboard it's going to swap these two units. It's going to swap my defender for this unit that's going to be useful as you see over here. So I'm going to put this guy over here, press H, exchange like two shots with this defender. Now he's kind of injured, but I have a full HP defender I could use. So I'm going to set this full HP defender over here and press H. And now I know he's going to win this. And I'm going to take Moldova with one gold, which is both one manning a country, and it's the most efficient thing you can do in the game. Um, another way you could use V. It's the spam swap. So let's say I want to take this city quick. I can position him close to city and just spam swap him constantly. If you're quick with this, you can take a city almost in like 10 seconds. And that's just good to do if you're like um, running out of time and you're desperate. Um, and the last thing we're going to talk about is control groups. So they're useful in like a lot of different ways. Let's say I want to take Netherlands and Svalbard pretty quick. I'm going to set this to control group 1 and this to control group 2. And that basically means I'm, I'm, while I have this selected, I'm holding control and then 2. And while I have this selected, I'm holding control and then 1. And after that, all I have to do is double tap 2 on my keyboard to center my camera to here. And double tap 1 to start, center my camera here. It's pretty useful if you're just managing two places at the same time. As you can see, so I'm just going to... Spawn two rifles here. Spawn run rifle here. Got these two guys shooting that. Moving this guy back. You put him to swap him with a full HP rifleman. And I'm gonna double tap one. I can spam swap this. And that just makes taking two areas at the same time way easier. You can also use this when you're managing multiple land fronts. Let's say typically when you're fighting a land army over here. You're probably going to have a roar in use. 
So you can set your roar to control group 1. And let's say you had like a land army over here and another roar. You can set that roar to control group 2 and just double tap 1 and 2 to swap between them, which is pretty convenient. And another way control groups are great, as you'll see. Wait, am I crippled? This is honestly the most common way I use control groups. Is I just set my control group to like my SS control group to four. And let's say I'm SS fighting someone over here, and one of my SS start getting injured. Um, let's say just just pretend this SS is super injured, and I want to keep him out the fight. While I have all of these SS selected by double tapping four, I'm gonna right click over here, hold shift. Select the injured SS and then hold control 4 again. And now I don't have my injured SS in my control group. And usually I'll put this guy in control group 5. Just so I have my high HP SS on 4 and my injured SS on 5. So I can keep my injured SS at the back when I'm fighting other people's SS. And I can use my high HP SS to tank everything. Another neat trick that helps with managing SS is. Let's say I want to add these two SS to control group 4. I could select these two SS and then hold shift, select these three SS, and then hold control group 4 to add everything to 4. But there's an easier way to do that. You just select these two SS that I just spawned and then hold shift 4, and it adds them to control group 4. Now I double tap 4 and they're included. That's just easier later on when you're trying to manage SS, because let's say you're finding SS over here. And you spawn a new full HP SS and you want to add it to control group 4, you're not going to have the time to select this, select all these, and micro SS at the same time. It's so much easier to just do shift 4 and add, add it as well. Um, the last hot game to mention, is, um, I already kind of used it, is shift. So you can use shift to deselect units. You can also do it here, like I can deselect this SS using shift. And then select them again while holding shift. Another thing you can do with shift is, let's say you want to transport these two units somewhere. If you click straight down here, this transport is going to walk through Norway port and take a lot of hits. So what you can do is hold shift, right click here, right click there, and it'll go to here, then here. And you can be more specific with its uh, pathway and then hold U or just select this and drop there. That's how you can use shift, and that's pretty much it for controls to be honest. So, congrats if you do all this stuff, you're insane.